Okay. Europeans are oh. the babies when possible. Okay. And babies are babies are Europeans adopt are babies when possible. Babies are adopt adopted adopted adopted. Remember where that when oh but I think gold is found in mine by people in La Union. I'm not gold sure. Was, gold was found in La Union by people. I see. Uh, well, I think it is like that. Yeah, gold is found in mines. In mines. By people, uh -huh, okay, in yeah. La Union. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, you. if you want to include it, you can do it, but if not, just give the general information. Yes, okay. All right. Okay. Three. Mm. Made, made, the paper is made from trees by them. Sí. Yes. Yeah, number two. People, two. In la, people in La Union find gold in mines. The gold is found in mines. Is found. Is found <laughs> in mines. In mines. Yes. In La okay. Union. Yeah, if you want to, if it's necessary, you can, you can say it. Okay. Are is driving to a school by my sister. Mm. One more time. Which number are you doing? Four. Number four. Number, number four. four. My sister drives her car to school. So, so what is the uh -huh. correct form to say it in the passive voice? Guys, mm. mm. car is. Uh, Driven to a school by my sister. Good. The car is driven to school by my sister. If you need to mention your sister, you can perfectly do it. But usually, when you use the passive voice, you don't really have to. That's good. Okay. The car is driving. Driven. Drive, driven. drove, driven. Driven. Okay. Yes, driven. Driven. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So what would be the passive form to say that information? Okay. Um, the gold, the gold in mines has been. Mm, not really. Now remember that number two is simple present. So what are the three forms of verb to be in simple present? Am um, is are. Am um, is are. So gold is found. Is found. In mines. In La Unión. Oh, okay. okay. Gold is found in mines in La, in La Union. Union. Yeah, if you if you need to say it, go ahead and say it. Hello. Okay. Hi, how are you? <laughs> are you a day junior? <laughs> uh huh. Tell your mother to teach you. <laughs> Yo me llamo Stephanie. Say, so, my name is Stephanie. Así que no My name is Stephanie. My name is Stephanie. Good, very good. <laughs> All right. It's possible. It's possible. Okay. <laughs> Number six. Number six. Remember that here we're going to work with past tense. Number six is still simple present. Oh, okay, take, thank you very much. Yeah. I take notes in myself. Take notes I, in myself. 
In my cells, yes. In my cells. Okay, go on. It, Try out. Um, I take notes myself. The notes. Well, the notes are. Is. Take. Uh, notes are taken. That is correct. Taken. Okay, notes, notes. That are taken. In my cell. Good. No. Okay. Yeah. Notes are taken oh. in my cell. Okay. It sounds. It sounds right. Good. He is watching a lot. He is watching a lot by. By her siblings. Yes, I think so. Watch. Okay. Number six. I take notes in my cell. I take notes in myself. How will you say that in the passive voice? Notes are taken. Yes. In Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number seven. Your time. You have to make it. Hey, teacher. Hello, how are you? Jose has troubles with internet. Oh. Okay, I I had some problems with the internet in the previous uh, session from uh, the one at eight o'clock because it's uh, raining. Okay. It's raining a lot, so that's causing um, it's interfering with the with the signal. Which number were you doing with Josue? Uh, now was his time, and he has to do it's number nine. nine. Number nine. Okay. Okay, okay. He, he back. Oh, he, he's back. All right, good. Okay, many neighborhoods were flooded by Amanda. Good. Yes. That's perfect. That's the one. And we finished. All right. Difficult. Uh, Some sentences. <laughs> yeah. These were uh, easier than yesterday. Yes. Mm -hmm. And just are the uh, word uh, sentences a little bit difficult. Now I confuse in the number four. I don't know why, but always confuse the the object, the uh, the positive pronoun. Like mm -hmm. my sister drive her car. Sometimes mm -hmm. I confuse with this. <laughs> yeah. So you say her car is driven to school if you want to mention by her or by my sister then you can do it that is correct ah, sure yeah so you say okay. her car is driven to school, driven to school. Ah, okay so okay. in other okay. words she doesn't walk she doesn't catch the bus she doesn't catch a taxi but her car is driven to school ah okay yep uh, that is the right answer. Yeah, her car is driven to school. Uh, we, I, I, I thought it was the car is driven to school. Sure, sure. And what did I say? Her, her car. car is driven <laughs> to school. Oh yeah, her car is driven to school, or or the car is driven to school. The two are good. The two are good. Oh, okay. Her I car guess. or. The car, it's it's uh, same thing. The message is exactly the same. We were discussing about the, the last uh, question, the last exercise, uh -huh. and, and we were like, who is Amanda? This sentence doesn't have sense. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Amanda. But later, Amanda, the, but later the, I remember the, the, the drain. The drain. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's the name. You know that for every rain, uh, uh, rainstorms, uh, they, they, they always put a name to the rain. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. So in this case, they but, chose Amanda. But now it's Cristobal, right? <laughs> right. Now it's Christopher. Christopher in English. Yeah, yeah, Cristobal. And it's and it's affecting uh Mexico, I Mexico. think. Yeah, the southern Mexico. part of Mexico. Yeah. Yeah. Golfo, Golfo de Fonseca. Uh 
I think it's the Gulf of Mexico, if I'm not mistaken. Gulf, huh? The Gulf of yeah. Mexico, yeah. So you guys okay. finish all the sentences? Yeah. All right, so let's yes. return to the main session. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, were you able to finish all the, the exercises? Yes. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. May I have a volunteer to do number one, please? The passive voice. Number one. Yes, please. Paper is made from trees. Good. Very simple. Paper is made from trees. Very good. Number two, people in La Union find gold in mines. Gold is found in mines in La Union. Good. Gold is found in mines in La Union. Good. Number three, Europeans adopt babies when possible. Babies are adopted when possible. Good. Babies are adopted when possible. Good. Number four, my sister drives her car to school. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Anybody? Her car is driving to school. Okay. Her car is driven to school. Simple. Driven. Her car is driven to school. So you have drive, mm -hmm. drove, driven. Drove and driven. Driven. Yeah. I, I forgot the, the correct pronunciation. Yeah, drive, <laughs> drove, driven. Yes. Okay, driven. what about number five? Her siblings watch a lot of television. A lot of, a lot a lot of, of TV. TV is watched. watched. Good. A lot of TV is watched. Yes. Uh, number six, I take notes in my cell. Notes are taken in my cell. Yes. Number seven. Her chain, her chain her. was stolen. Good. Her chain was stolen. Very good. Number eight, we visited the Leaning Tower. The Leaning Tower, what? Visit. Good. Visit. The Leaning visited. Tower was visited. Visited. Yes. And the last one, Amanda flooded many neighborhoods. Many neighborhoods were flooded. Good. Many neighborhoods were flooded. Good. Very good. That is true. Yeah. That's a real example. <laughs> yeah. That's a real example. Yeah. All right, um, any questions about this active and passive voice exercise? No? No. All right. So oh. re remember that yesterday we were speaking about the advantages of reading. Do you remember what the advantages are, especially when you're reading English? get more learning. vocabulary okay you you increase your vocabulary very good what else yeah. general knowledge yes general knowledge general knowledge you increase your knowledge when you have a conversation you have some a lot of topics to talk exactly when you're having a conversation you have a lot of topics to talk about very good what else Your grammar. Yeah, your grammar. Remember that when you read, you see a particular structure every time that you read that you internalize it. And once you internalize something, you can say that it's part of your speech. So you use it naturally. So there are different um, advantages and benefits that we get from reading. Um, anything else you would like to say about the benefits from reading? 
<laughs> we improve our accent. Sure, sure. Because you see a particular word and maybe you don't know how to pronounce it. You look for the meaning and the pronunciation and you improve. Sure. We improve our reading comprehension. Exactly. Reading comprehension is really necessary. Good. Writing, writing down a word, it helps us to memorize yes. that word. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like everybody learns in different forms. And some people, a lot of people, they learn more when they write things down. So say, this is a new word. So you write it down, but not only writing it down, but do something with it. Like try to use it um, whenever you have the chance. If you can include it in, a, in an essay, paragraph, journal, whatever. So when you start using it, you know, it becomes part of your vocabulary. Yes. But better with your orthography. Yeah, your spelling. Definitely. Yes. Your spelling gets, uh, uh, it, it improves. It improves. Right. So remember that in English, we have four macro skills. You have speaking, reading, writing, and listening. Do you remember how you learned to speak Spanish? No. Listening. <laughs> by listening, <laughs> exactly. You didn't take any Spanish classes. You learned by listening. So first is listening. What happens after you start listening? Reading. So, so we have four macro skills. So the first one is listening. What is number two? Reading. You sure? Reading. Speaking. 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 Yeah. Speaking. yeah. So first, like, like when you're teaching your little son or your little daughter to speak, you say, say, Papa. So before they say Papa or Mama, first they need to listen to the word. So you say, Papa. Or you say, that's Tony, Carlos, uh, Beatrice, whatever. So before they start speaking, first they do the listening, then speaking. What is number three? Listening, reading. Listening, speaking, reading. Reading. <laughs> so what is number reading. three? Is it reading or writing? Uh, writing. 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 Are you sure? Writing. Reading. 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 Okay, uh, how oh, reading. first <laughs> reading. Yeah. reading. So you have to see it. So you have to see it. And that's why when you were in first grade or kindergarten, your teacher, she he or he used to write a lot on the board. So you had to uh, see the reading, read, and then you wrote uh, whatever was on the board. So listening, <laughs> speaking, reading, and writing. So those are the four macro skills, right? Okay, so now it's time to do the, the reading we couldn't do yesterday. It's right here. Do you see the image? Yes. Okay. yes. Unusual museum. Yeah, unusual museums. Okay, museums. Um, do we yeah. have any museums uh, that we can visit in El Salvador. So imagine uh, you receive a visit from Canada, Mexico, whatever, and this person likes <laughs> museum. Where would you take them? In terms of museums. Many, there are many, there are many museums. Right. Here in El Okay. So, um, which museums do you know in San Salvador? Oh. Uh, Marte Museum. Okay, Marte. The, Marte. David, David J. Guzmán Museum. Uh -huh. um, la palabra, la imagen, la palabra es museum, imagen, el mupi. <laughs> uh -huh. um, Have you ever visited the military museum? Our Army's Museum. Uh -huh. where, where is our it located? Army. The Army's Museum. Hmm? The 
Jacinto. San Jacinto, exactly. Where exactly okay. is it? El Zapote headquarters. <laughs> yeah, the military headquarters, El Zapote. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Have you visited yes. Saburo Irao? President Museum. Yes. Yes. Okay. Inside Saburo Irao, there is a, a, a small, nice museum. Paleontology. Uh huh. Yeah, you see bones, fossils, plants. Yep. El Museo del Prehistoric History. Teacher, how do you say moneda? Coin. Uh, well, you can say coin. 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 Uh -huh. Penny. <laughs> if, if, if you're talking about literally about the object. But um, the right word is... Um, currency, no. Currency. currency. Yeah, currency. currency. Thank you. Uh -huh. Currency. Yeah, uh -huh. currency. Okay. So if you say, what is the... In the house? Uh-huh. In the house of coin is museum. Yes, downtown San Salvador. Yeah, have you visited that place before? You can visit, visit to the train museum. Yeah, uh, train museum. Train museum is nice too. Yeah, and... <laughs> yes, Manuel. Yeah, Ting Marine. I went to Ting Marine like 20 years ago. And mm. I haven't come back. Okay, uh, so anyway, <laughs> but they said it, uh, when, when I went, I remember that it was very, uh, it's, it's, it's very productive. I mean, you teach uh, good things to children there. It, it's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. so the museums we're going to read about, they are unusual. So I need a volunteer to read the introduction, please. Look at the pictures. Look at the pictures and scan the article. Where do you think you can see very old objects? A working factory? Historic cooking tools? Okay, good. Okay, uh, can you please read number one too? Uh, anybody? Do you like museums? Museums? Okay. Do you like museum? Uh, uh, have you been to museum? Have you been? You have been to the yeah. Louvre in Paris, the Museum of Anthropology in yeah. Mexico City, or any of those other mostly museums. Must see. Well, now so it's time to go up, to go up the beating path. All right, good. Any questions about what she just read? Must see. What what is the meaning of that expression? Must see. Okay, you have to refer uh, that a place where you have to see. Exactly. You have to. Uh, right. Yeah. So if they say, look, if you go to Mexico, if you go to Guatemala, you need to go to this particular place. That's a must see. That means that it's mandatory. It's like an oblig obligation. Exactly. Exactly. Oh. Mm -hmm. It's like if you say, if you tell someone, well, I visited El Salvador for the first time, but I didn't try the pupusas. You know, that's like uh, okay. illogical. So, all if right. I like the, the, the importance. About, oh, okay. Yeah. Mossi is making reference to the places that you need to visit. Right. Okay. So. We have three different museums that are a little bit unusual. One is in Seoul, Korea. The other one is in Colombia. And the last one is in Germany. So I need a volunteer to read the first one, uh, the Kimchi Museum in Seoul, Korea. Who wants to read? Kimchi. Um, Me. All right, please. If you don't know about Kimchi, a trip to the Kimchi Museum, is an eye-opening experience. The museum was founded in 1986 to highlight Korea's rich kimchi culture. The exhibit, the exhibit 
includes displays of cooking utensils. So utensils. 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 And materials related. Vegetable. The museum also provides details about the history and nutritional benefits of Korea's most beloved side dish. Finally, I stop by the souvenir shop to try various Thai kimchi. All right, good, thank you. All right, so there you have it. Has anybody ever visited Korea? <laughs> no. No? It's a little bit too far, huh? And, uh, a little bit. I, yeah. I have a question. Yes. Anyone knows what what is uh, kimchi? Kimchi. Uh -huh. Kimchi is the name of the museum. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, uh, the, sort of the name. The name. Yes. Vegetable inside a bottle, uh -huh. like we say here. Curtido. Uh, oh, yes. But yeah. with different vegetable, vegetables. Okay, vegetable. different ingredients. Okay. All right. All right. Any any questions or comments about Seoul, Korea, about the Kimchi Museum? I have a question, but about the pronunciation of a word. Okay, the, which word? Uh, in, uh, and Eating the famous pick, pick pickled pickled vegetables. Pickled pickle. vegetables. Pickled pickled pickled. Okay, in that word, I was wrong. Pickled pickled. Do you do you know the meaning of pickled? Pickled. Oh, what is pickles? Like curtido. curtido, right? Curtido. Ah. Yeah. Oh. Okay. So if you want to say cebolla curtida, you say pickle onion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A pickled vegetable is when you cut some slices or little pieces of a, veg a vegetable. Right. Okay. Or the curtire. Right. And, and what is the name of the liquid that you use to, to do this? Vinagre. Vinegar. 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 Yes. Vinegar. Yes. All right. Any other questions about the Kimchi Museum in Seoul, Korea? The meaning of side dish. Um, the Korea, the nutritional nutritional benefit of Korea's most beloved side dish. Beloved. Side. Beloved. Well, you see, if you don't know Michi, a trip in an open open museum was founded. See what the play of Kinsinger and Ray too. Also, brought the chance about the history of Size this. Oh, yeah, like uh, like when we eat, oh, uh, when we eat pupusas, you know, wh what do you need to eat pupusas? <laughs> Tomato sauce. Maybe it's another plate to to complement to, to complement the main dish. Yeah, that is the side dish. Tomato sauce. Okay, tomato oh. sauce or curtido. So that Pico. would be the side dish for pupusas. Mm, yeah, okay. Yep. Com complemento. Right. Uh, right. A mix. The other plate. Yeah, it's the complement for the main thing that you're eating. Mm. Like a uh, guarnition? Um, not exactly. So you eat pupusas, but if you eat pupusas, you usually eat curtido too. Curtido is the side dish, is the complement for pupusas. Oh. Yes. Okay. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Any other questions about uh, Seoul, Korea? No? Okay, no, may I have another volunteer to read about Colombia? Me. All right, please. The Museum of Gold, Bogota, Colombia. If you want to see beautiful objects, the Museum of Gold is the place. 
It holds on. It holds one. America. Uh, that's right. It's whole one of South American most stunning collections. Stunning collections. Because they exhibit sparkles so brightly, you Sweet. can actually take photographs without using a flash on your cam camera. Mm -hmm. Not everything is made of gold, thought. Among the oh. exhibits are ancient pre-Columbian items. Many of them are made from a mixture of gold and copper. Copper. Known as tumbago. Good. Tumbaga. Tumba. I don't yeah, tumbago. <laughs> tumbago. Tumbago. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Any questions about what she just read? What is the meaning of a sparkle? Okay. Sparkle, An yeah. Anybody knows the meaning of sparkle? To be honest, I don't know. What is that it? Is when uh, uh, a piece of metal shines. Yeah. Like a spark. And yes. It's bright, bright thing. Yeah, sparkle you know? is is a synonym of shine, like Hitler ah. said. Yeah, it shines. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, more questions like, about like the second. Point. Like? Like new coins. Right. They right. shine. Yeah, they shine. They sparkle. Sparkle. Yes. Shine. Okay. Okay. Any other comments or questions about the second Tumbaga. one? Tumba. <laughs> yeah. It says a mixture of gold and copper. It's copper. Yes. What is copper? Um... Do you know the names of the coin that we use in El Salvador? Uh, Columbus. No, the, the name of the coin. Okay, what do you call a one Nickel. cent coin? Oh, Nickel. Penny. Ah. Penny. So pennies are made of copper. Ah, okay. Oh, yeah. Copper ah. is a material. Copper is material. Cobre. Cobre, okay. right. Right. Yes, it's like iron. Yeah, it's 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 a solid material. It's Similar solid material. Yes. Yeah. Oh. So you have pennies, okay, right. nickels, dimes, quarters. Yes. Mm -hmm. What is the okay. the correct pronunciation? Copper or copper? No, copper. 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 Yes. Copper. Because it's a one. It's copper. not W O. <laughs> yeah. If it's double O, it usually sounds like O, like pool, cook. Uh, yes. But in this okay. case, we only have one O, so it's copper. Copper. Uh huh. Any other questions about the museum in Colombia? Has anybody mm, ever no. visited Colombia? No. 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 Me. You have. Oh. Yeah. No. Okay. Yes. What yes, part of I Colombia did you visit? San Andres. Oh, San Andres. The island. Yes. Okay. Good. Oh. Must be a nice place. Really, it's amazing. Yeah. Yep. The sea have seven color in the in its beach. Okay. All right. So you recommend some I'm googling. I'm googling yes. about the right name is Tumbaga, and these are tiny, like, sort of tiny idols that you can carry. Okay. Yes. Good. But you can see very well. Tumbaga. Right. Good. Uh, Good. Let me go. <laughs> All right. Good. Any other questions about uh, the museum in Colombia? No. No? Okay, so I need one last volunteer to read about Germany. Yeah. All right, Manuel. Okay. The Chocolate Museum, Cologne, Germany. The Chocolate Museum will teach you everything about chocolate. 
from cocoa bean to candy bars. You will learn about chocolates. Um, 3,000? 3,000 years history and discover how, how it's, it was one used one. as money in South America. A real chocolate factory shows you how chocolate <clears throat> is made. After you, you have finished the tour, you can sample a complimentary drink of rich gooey pure gooey. chocolate. Gooey. 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 Pure yeah. chocolate perfect for those with a sweet uh, tooth. Tooth. Very good. Thank you. Tooth. How do you pronounce the contraction of you have? Uh, you. You've. 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 Yes. Good. You've. Very good. You've. All right. Any questions okay. about this information okay. about Germany? I love chocolate. Yeah, chocolate is <laughs> really oh good. <laughs> yep. Um, okay, any questions about vocabulary? Uh, I don't have any questions. What is gooey, teacher? Gooey? Go, do you gooey. know the, do you uh, know the word sticky? Pegajoso. Yes. Yes. Uh, gooey. Gooey means sticky. Gooey. Yes. All right. Any other questions? No. No? Has anybody been here in Germany? No. no? Nobody. No. Too far, huh? No. Too far and Not, too expensive. Uh, not yet. <laughs> not yet. That is, that's that's the, the right the answer. Only one Germany not thing yet. In the future. The only one Germany thing that I might say is that my name is German. Himmler. Okay. Okay. And my my bro my brother's name is Rommel. Okay. Himmler and Rommel were uh, mi officials, military. <laughs> in, in, okay. In, were they Nazis? Hitler. Hitler. Of Hitler. Oh, <laughs> they so work, they work for Hitler. Oh, really? So, who chose the names? Your father or your mother? My dad is mad about German people. Okay, so he His doesn't. Name, okay, so. Nazi. <laughs> okay. All right. Good. Okay. Any I don't use. I don't use this name. What is it? My another name. My second name is Christopher. Okay. My friends can call me Chris. Okay. So Himmler is your first name. Yeah, I don't like that name because it was a not a bad guy. Okay. All right. So Christopher. All right. All right. Any anybody else has any other questions or comments about the three articles we just read? I have a comment, but about other museums in Mexico. Okay. I, I saw in a YouTube video uh -huh. that there is a museum of mommy in Guanajuato. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, there and are, a, are yes. about 30 mummies there that you can see. Okay. And they're real mummies. Yeah, they are real mommy. All right. And they were found, uh, do you know where they were found? Uh, they are in Guanajuato. The, the, la, the, I don't know how to say, but the land there, uh, with the path of the time, uh, made that the, the bodies uh, were really were conserved uh, in mommies. Okay. All right. That sounds creepy. Yeah, yeah. It is a really famous uh, museum uh, in Mexico. <laughs> okay, so it's a must see. If you go to Mexico, you must see uh, this museum. In Guanajuato. Yeah. Guanajuato. Guanajuato. Yeah. yeah. I've been in Mexico two times, but I never uh, went to Guanajuato. <clears throat> oh. Okay, good. Maybe next time that I go, I can visit that place. 
Maybe. Yeah. All right. Um, any other comments or questions about the readings? No. No. We are clear. No. Okay. okay. Now, uh, so are there any strange or weird museum options here in El Salvador? Mm, weird? Maybe no. No. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. So if you want to learn about the military history, you will go to Museo Militar in San Jacinto, right? Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay. If I you want, never want. You, you have never gone there. No. Um, yeah. you should go. It's, no. it's it's pretty cool, and the entrance there is tanks. great. There are tanks and boats, uniforms, and a sort of right Weird things of the world. Right. Uh, they also have the chair that was offered to Gerardo Barrios, I think, because, uh, you know, they, they killed them, right? So they gave him the option, look, there's a chair for you. He says, no, if you kill me, I'm going to be standing. So he refused to use the chair. So they have that chair there too. Yep. There you realize that he was a tiny man. Uh huh. And, and that big stomach. He was oh. that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Any other comments or questions about museums in El Salvador before we go? No. No. Okay. So let me thank you for making the space, the time. So you guys have a nice weekend, and I'll see you Monday at nine o'clock. Okay. All good right. Night. So you guys have a good one. Good night. Stay good night. safe. Good night. 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 See you next Monday. All good right. Night. Good. God bless you. All right. Same here.